Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome back to the subject of Machine Design 1. In the last lecture, we have seen the design safety of the power screw which was selected by us. In today's section, we are going to check its safety against buckling and then we are going to design the rest of the parts. <music> design against buckling of the power screw now we know that there is a standard formula given by rankine for the buckling load so By Rankine theory, we know that this is the formula where this is the compressive strength, area of cross section of core diameter, this is the alpha associated with the given material, n is the factor and this is the ratio of your length to the radiation of gyration, sorry, radius of gyration. Now, there is another thing, the standard values that we can select for all of them are as follow. We already know sigma c, we can find out area. The alpha and n values are predefined for the plain carbon steel. We know that by Rankine's theory, we know that buckling will be given by this critical load. Now, let us assume the critical load as the allowable only. So, that's why I have put them in the bracket. So, the formula is same as that we have used before this. The value of n in our case is 1. The value of alpha is 1 by 7500 because it's a ductile material, it's a steel material. Value may marginally change but will not hamper the value of critical load as such. And that's why after substituting the values, we'll get the answer pre-critical or the load critical or crippling load to be somewhere around 129 kN. Now, there are two aspects we need to understand. We already know that this is the allowable value of stress and that's why I've used 8. 80. The value of area we consider from the core diameter point of view. Then this important thing is the ratio of the length with the radius of gyration. The relation is given in this manner. The length that we have found out is somewhere around 570. We may increase or decrease the length. It will not hamper the answer that much. But this is the important relation. Now we know that it's a solid circular shaft. The cross section of core diameter looks like a solid circular shaft and for that the ratio can be found out using this its i value moment of inertia will be given by this formula its area of cross section by this formula if we take the ratio we will get this particular answer and if we take the square root of that thing it becomes dc divided by 4 you can work out this for you you'll get this answer so i divided by k value i obtain is 44.706 the same value i have replaced here and after solving this, I'll get critical load which is allowed somewhere equal to 129 kN. If you remember, the load that we have been given is 100 kN. That means the critical load that this particular power screw can sustain is more than the applied value. And hence, we can say that the screw is safe in even buckling. And that's why... The screw is safe in buckling and here we finish with the safety aspect of power screw where in all the aspect the screw is safe let's go for the determination of remaining parameters let's go for the design of nut it's a standard procedure again height of nut is given by this particular equation where psi is equal to h by dm the psi value generally for our application point of view take at 2 we already know the diameter, no, this mean diameter and that's why h will be found out using dm by psi. So it becomes 2 into the value of dm we already have is 55.5 and hence the height of nut comes out to be 1, 1, 1 millimeter. So that will be the height of the nut. Next thing is the number of threads. Of course, the number of threads will be given by the total height of nut divided by the pitch. So, it comes out to be 
and therefore value of n number of thread becomes the value of n becomes somewhere around 12.33 of course a number can't be a fraction and hence let's increase it to 30 so 30 number of threads will be required for this kind of nut the last thing is the shear stress the shear stress that will be induced in this nut we need to verify it is given by this ratio the d outer which is nominal diameter is already known 60 the height of nut is already known triple one and number of threads 13. So the T value comes out somewhere around 0.4 Newton per millimeter square. Now one thing we need to understand that for bronze the value for allowable value of tau is always greater than this value and hence we can say that you can verify this uh, cross verify this value from the design data book there you will find that this value allowable value is greater than the value which we have obtained and that's why i can say that nut is safe in the given condition students one more thing you need to understand there are two more parameters to be designed that is cup and handle somehow like we have preferred series we can go for their selection randomly based on the selected value or the design values of nut and screw so they need not to be design over here specifically we can go for their values directly as the direct selection so there the main scope of our design of screw jack aims thank you so much for watching your video if you like this video please subscribe to ikeda